And this is uh, my version of an El Greco, so help me God. Uh, a total uh, transformation, transfiguration. <laughs> because I am not like El Greco. I love El Greco, and El Greco taught me uh, that painting could be revelation. <laughs> and that was an enormous thing and made me eventually a painter. Uh, but <laughs> it's, I think it's quite close to uh, Pouvi de Chavannes, a French uh, neoclassicist. Uh, uh, and I was uh, very uh, moved in this El Greco and the original by the sense of the figures uh, standing, the figures of the apostles standing, as it were, on the edge of the world. And I had to recreate this for myself. Uh, I'm sorry it's so pale, um, but there you are. It is a rather pale painting, but uh, there we are. Right, next please. And uh, the figure in white is uh, Our Lady. And uh, they are uh, seeing the crucifixion from afar off. Uh, a, a priest had uh, begged me to take this uh, theme of uh, our Lady seeing the crucifixion from afar off, and I was happy to uh, do this. And this is one of the paintings that I that uh, uh, that uh, decorated a chapel in uh, Fossa, in uh, near Kalani. And. Uh, you see, my, um, my attitude to painting really is quite like uh, uh, a weaver. <laughs> uh, and um, I, I, I have made this uh, painting, um, it's a decorative uh, unity. And uh, as with a sort of poetic uh, dimension of its own. Uh, this would be middle period pie. Next, please. And this now is a, 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 an early-ish stained glass window. Uh, the Life of Our Lady. And uh, it was made in uh, the, the 60s. And it was the first big commission that I did. And um, uh, there you are. Uh, we have. Uh, the Annunciation, uh, bottom left hand, the Annunciation, the Visitation, the Flight into Egypt, the Nativity, uh, uh, then the Coronation in Heaven, and Jesus on his mother's knees. Next, please. Where, where is it? Hmm? That's in, it's in Cookstown. Uh, and the Convent of Mercy is, uh, ha has been left by the uh, Sisters of Mercy. And uh, people don't know what to do with the chapel. 
sadly, and I don't know what will happen with the stained glass, whether it'll last in the building or whether it'll be taken apart. <sighs> and now this painting is the, uh, is the um, sacrifice of Abraham's son, Isaac. And uh, I, I have, um, I have crossed the legs of Isaac and I've compared the legs of Isaac to the legs of Christ and I have referred to the, uh, the uh, goat which was uh, which Abraham found in the tree supplied by the angel. And that's quite a small work. It's a, a small-ish triptych, about uh, 20 inches high. And, uh, uh, but it was a very intensive work. Uh, and it took me a long time. Next, please. And this is a, a station of the cross, the disrobing of Christ. Next, please. And this is a Michael. Uh, the war in heaven. And um, I, I was unable to, uh, <laughs> to um, get rid of the devil's eye. <laughs> It took me 10 years to get rid of the devil's eye between one painting of St. Michael and the next one. <laughs> and maybe I had to get rid of my own devil's eye. And this is in uh, St. Michael's College in, uh, in Dublin, uh, in Aylesbury Road, at the end of Aylesbury Road. Um, a college run by the, um, uh, the Holy Ghost Fathers. Next, please. And this is Elijah. Elijah, uh, the only person apart from Our Lady and uh, Christ and the Father in heaven. He is the only one who was taken up in a fiery chariot. And uh, I, I think uh, I, I'm intoxicated by this story. <laughs> so help me God. Next, please. And this is called the vision. And I, I use this uh, in the triptych, uh, the small triptych, and then I made this bigger painting of it uh, with uh, the grave digger. 